everybody. Flo was trying to get away. <clears throat> Sit right there, girl, and behave yourself. Today is an episode of Hashtag Friendship Friday. Yay! I won another prize. This time I won from New England Junk Journals from Miss Sarah. And I will link her channel below. I highly advise you to go check her out. It costs you nothing. Go subscribe and like and get to know her. She is amazing. She has the most wonderful hauls, thrifted treasure videos you've ever seen. And um, I love to watch her thrifted treasure videos. And she does other videos as well. So you need to check her out. And um, I want to show you what I won. I've already done this video once, so everything's already been open. I've already been so excited when I first saw it. So if I don't sound as excited this time, it's because this is take two. So I got these buttons and I already kind of sorted them out. These are the vintage buttons, the, the ones that I think are really cool, like different. I always keep those in a separate um, thing. Thank you, Sarah, I love those. And then these are all kinds of things. There's little wood pieces and buttons and plastic buttons, some cute, there's a couple Halloween buttons in here, a fairy button. I mean, it's just adorable and I love the bag. So um, thank you so much, Sarah, for these cool buttons. I love buttons. Then she sent me all these wonderful fabrics this gorgeous green. Of course, I like grungy and vintage <clears throat> is my favorite. Um, so that goes right along with me. I love this. These strips are great because I keep strips of fabric like this to make ruffles and um, sew them on my sewing machine to put on page edges and such. So this is beautiful fabric and I love that there are um, they're strips. Then we have this really pretty um, Christmas fabric with the little Charlie Brown looking Christmas tree. Isn't that adorable? Piece of green. These Asian little girls are super cute. And I love all of these um, cowboy pieces because I'm going to do a western journal or two eventually. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? I may have to do more of a little kids western journal based on these they're so cute lots of um little squares and things of that love this thank you so much sarah this reminds me of watercolors um i'm not sure what this design is it's kind of um abstract love this floral and that pretty little piece of red i love the stars with this gold um dark gold color and the browns beautiful the umbrellas are super cute little asian umbrellas are like the kind you put in your drinks if you get if you drink i love this one is this will go in my sewing journal beautiful dragonflies isn't that cute i love this the dark the red and the i think it's black but it may be navy isn't that gorgeous watercolor more of the asian theme the purple and the red Q what, what what did i just say beautiful <laughs> there's some plaid i love the apples and the bees this looks like a nautical theme it's got a whale and a compass and a moon this green is really pretty these are all cool little swatches. Love that little vintage square. Isn't that gorgeous? Some more geometric shapes. This is little hearts with turquoise with this um, purple heart. That's interesting. Then this was um, what she tied some of them up with. And there was another piece and I don't know what I did with it. Um, look at these. These are little flowers. Is that not beautiful? And then this one has leaves on it. And this is a yo-yo that's coming apart, which doesn't hurt my feelings. I love this fabric. Here's two just little leaves that I can take apart and see how they're made. And just another flower. Aren't they cute? Love these. Right up my alley, I'm saying.
Oh, see, the button already fell off. And then she sent me these wonderful wallpaper pieces. This one's embossed. Gorgeous. Aren't they pretty? Love them all. And I can coffee dye them to knock that white off of them. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Sarah. This is super cool. And I love that they're in small strips. More manageable. Great for pockets and tags. Look at this uh, Telltale book. My Little Book of Dogs. It's got the duct tape on the spine. That's the way my husband repairs things. The duct tape. 1976 is the copyright date. That's the year I graduated high school. And yes, I am that old. <clears throat> Adorable book. I love these little gift cards or I don't know what you call these you put them in with flowers or things that you give people I love the turkey with happy Thanksgiving and there's birthdays and um, congratulations Mother's Day anniversary thinking of you best wishes with the butterflies get well hope you're feeling better aren't they sweet happy anniversary and that one doesn't say anything so fun. Thank you so much. I've never had any of these before. Love it. Got two stencils that are the same, which are fun. I can share one with a crafty friend. Look at these adorable thank you cards. Is that not too cute, that little duck? I love it. And I could put a different sentiment right here and use it for a pocket. I just think this is adorable, and I love the blue envelope. Look at this paper pack. Absolutely gorgeous papers. Aren't those fun? Thank you, Sarah. I love all of this. And this um, jumbo book is amazing. This I love. The copyright is 1989. Look at these illustrations. They are gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? They're basically little uh, nursery rhymes. Isn't that, I love, love, love these illustrations. Thank you so much, Sarah. I love this book. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure why they called it Jumbo. There's no elephant in there. These are beautiful stamps. I love you. Look at that beautiful sunflower, roses, and a bow. You are special to me, and all of you are. And for you with love. Beautiful. And these are all interesting. They look like copies of watercolors. Gorgeous. I've got quite a few of these. All of them are a bit different. They're pretty. Very, very nice. Come on, stay up there. Flo, do your job and hold on to things. Isn't that beautiful? Be beautiful if you could see it, huh? <clears throat> Love it. Gorgeous. Make beautiful journal pages if I have a big journal, and I guess I could cut it down some of them and make smaller pages but they're just so pretty thank you so much Sarah love it isn't that gorgeous last but not least we have a beach wish I was sitting right there <laughs> so nice and this book, oh, my Lanta, a baby blessing. Look at that baby. And this has got all kinds of photos about babies and welcoming a new baby into the home. There's some fairy babies. Love these pictures. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Sarah. I love this book. This is amazing. 
Aren't they gorgeous? These images are so, so pretty. Now, I know I'm flipping fast, but this is take two, and I have to go to church in a minute. Isn't she pretty? And I wanted to get this done. Look at him with the crown. <laughs> so sweet. I just adore this book. So cute. Thank you so much. That is a treasure for sure. And more wallpaper. These are beautiful. Look at that with the red. I love that. I love all of them. They're so pretty and very unique. I don't have any that look like these. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And they will be really pretty coffee dye. That's what I plan on doing with them. All right, Flo, you're going to get fired. You can't hold on to things a little bit better. That's all I ask you to do. Sit up here and behave yourself. She just gets out of hand sometimes. I'm sorry. <laughs> this, oh, Melanta, this is, did you make this, Sarah? This is so cute. Let it snow, and it's um, a photo mat album so you can put photos here i could use it for journaling but i don't journal in pretty books i just do my journaling in composition books and this gorgeous so cute hold on tight i love it so pretty thank you so much that'll be something to look at and see how to make too and this gorgeous rickrack i adore rickrack and look at all the... Did you make this, Sarah? This is so pretty. Thank you so much. I love it. And last but not least, my friends, look at this. <clears throat> all right, Flo, I'm moving you. Isn't this amazing? 1961 needlework. Oh, I love this so much. This is the best. These images are amazing. Thank you so much. I can't believe you let this go. I don't know that I could have. I'd have had to keep it. <laughs> I love it. This is going to be great. And this is in such good condition on for journals. But I'm, I'm not sure if I can cut it up or not. Look at her. Well, hello, handsome. <laughs> I just think that's funny. Aren't these amazing? Let me see if I can get you up a little bit to see you better. There we go. Just gorgeous pictures. I love this so much. So pretty. Look at these. They're so fun. Love the records. Having a fake snowball fight. <laughs> I think I skipped a page. Look. Oh my goodness. So much fun. Thank you so much, Sarah. Look at these baby clothes. <clears throat> oh, that's precious. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is amazing. Don't you guys wish you had it? I remember these needlepoint purses. I think, um, I don't remember if it was my mother or my grandmother that had one. Those are cool. I don't, I've not seen one in, in real life other than that. Since I've been older, I've not seen one at all. Absolutely fabulous. Christmas party. Look at this. Look. Those old dolls. Bibs, toys. I love the aprons. My friend Pam Van E um, of Pam Van E, she collects aprons. And Pam, you should do a video showing off all your apron collection. I would love to see all the different aprons you have. I would like to have all these aprons. These are super cool. back into the advertisements back here look at that that room adorable I would have loved to have that when I was a teenager I never had a pretty room 
until I was, I think, a senior in high school, I finally got a, a decent room. Not that I didn't, I had a nice room, I just never was able to decorate it, put it that way, until I was a senior. Look at that, so cute. Somebody done cut one of these out. It might have been what I wanted. <laughs> so we go through all these ads. Look at this. Get some patterns. Isn't that cute? Clay flat. Roll clay flat to make 3D fruit. Wouldn't that be fun? Aren't these fun? Look at that. Here's the fish, and that's the wild bird. There's some aprons, cross stitch on gingham, yes. I'm showing you how to do it right there. Oh, I just love this. Thank you for going through this with me if you've stayed this long. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sarah. This was an amazing surprise that I won, and I love everything. So I'm thankful for all of you who watched. Be sure to check out Sarah's channel. You will love her. Like and subscribe and tell her I sent you. And remember that you are loved, guys. God loves you, and so do I. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.